Nick's dressed for the occasion today with his Mickey Mouse on. Just outside there's a little Disney photo wall as well if you want to uh, get your photo. Good morning Disney, here we are. Florida video. Hi. We are heading out right now. We are going to go to the um, Walt Disney World store up on iDrive. The just new one. For a little look. The tiny one. Yeah. Well, apparently, I think it's quite smallish, but we'll show you guys. And then we're heading into Hollywood Studios. And tonight we have a meal with the Bazers at a new Indian restaurant, which Nick found. Found it on Instagram a couple of months ago. Um, it's called Bombay Kitchen. Mm. Does look on very the nice. Orange Blossom Trail. It's not your standard Indian, it looks very swanky, very wine bar -y. So we're gonna head over there and try that. I've got a table book for 6.30 tonight, the Bazaars are coming. So uh, before that, we have a lot to do, so let's go. idea by whoever came up with the idea that just putting a, a Disney store quite close to Universal for all the people that don't bother going down to Disney um, that's usually all flashing like telling you that the Disney store is there it's not today for some reason has to run out of money on me to maybe so there it is so do we just park here I don't know well it doesn't say you can but yeah. I'll park so, down the side okay. presumably for all those shops yeah there is a big parking um, lot here right at the side of it yeah. but I guess oh no we can't that's Avis. There. That's Avis return there's a golden corral here too oh uh, yeah sorry sign back there actually so we've just parked there um it didn't say anything about it. you can't park there would park in there but um the garage is closed so you can't actually get in that um, parking space right well, there's let's no signs go. on this one that says you can't no. so let's go have a look at Disney merch Nick's dressed for the occasion today with his Mickey Mouse on. So it's quite a smallish place. Look at this. I like this uh, $159 for that. I do like that though. Right, I've looked around, we can leave. No, we can't. Light up haunted mansion chess. And yes, I do know how to play chess. I don't. Never played chess in my life. Wow, well, I like that. Look at all those notebooks. I'm just looking at them. I'm trying to steer you away from them. <laughs> well, Photo album there. I quite like that. But who prints no, photos No, we don't print days? photos anymore, do we? Be a legend. What's this little one? Set of three journal Star Wars. Is this Anyone just can a blank cook? book? It's for you to write your... Um, oh, your own recipes. Your recipes in. Monsters University. Look at that one. I like a book with a golden binding. It reminds me of encyclopedias when I, I was a kid. I love notebooks, but we've got far too many. Did you ever get anybody like knocking them. on doors when you were kids selling Britannica encyclopedias and you know, oh, paid for them weekly? A long time ago, yeah. I got up to see. So. <laughs> Rubik's Cubes are a thing, apparently, still. Eh? Is that Disney Rubik's? 100 Rubik's Cube? Yeah. How much to charge for your Rubik's Cube? $20. That would be very difficult to do, especially if there's no colours on I've it. I've never been able to manage to do a Rubik's one, Cube. I can do one coloured side, that's it. Everybody can do that. I've already looked at that, $159. <laughs> it's nice it's amazing, though, isn't it? Just to think that <laughs> that's going to get scratched. Is that like a plastic coating on it? The yeah, it, yeah uh, you feel possibly, that yeah. yeah and then it's shiny yeah. and then it gets scratched. I like that uh, jogger suit. I really like that. I like that. Yeah, but you won't wear it. You'll buy it and you won't wear it. No, I don't like that, but I like that. What about that jogging, jogging suit? Oh, too hot in this weather. Bit of trivia, which ride in Disney does some guy wear this on the introductory video? Comments below. And we saw that in the Natural History Museum in yes, Washington. I quite like that, actually. Oh, no, it's one of those that you've got to put around your um, shoulder, like one 
strap over. How much is it? 34.99. Not bad actually. That's like a little camping mug, isn't it? Yeah. You know when you go camping, yeah. you get those Falcon enamel ones. That's like a Disney version. Brings back nightmares of camping. Yeah. 20 quid. I'm just going to show this for our friend Hannah. Spread shuns. Sunshine, not shade. She loves orange bird. Sunshine, not shade. <laughs> she loves orange bird. That is 24.99. <laughs> right. Found a mug with that. We like. Wash that. Well, I imagine it comes off. This. Oh yeah, it slides off actually. <laughs> so you can wash it. How much charge for that? Um, 24.99. 24 now look at this. One. I like. Yeah, I quite like that as one as well. Well, you can't really see that properly. It's like it's almost sunk in. I've no idea what these are. I don't know, but they're 9.99. And they've just got, they're not salt and pepper things, they've just got the holes in the top. section with all the uh, plates and cups and stuff. It's Star Wars merch, um, the lounge fly bag, and again, I quite like that bag. Baby Yoda, but it's one of those that goes over your shoulder and not keen on them. $34.99 for Stitch. I've just arranged him so it looks like he's trying to escape. One for me. No one boss, yeah. And that's for you. Mm. Found a better one for you, Nana. There we go. No wrong with a Nana. So you can buy park tickets here. There's an entire section over there for tickets. Just outside, there's a little Disney photo wall as well if you want to uh, get your photos. And here's a little photo of me when I did it just now. So if you want to visit there, it's just over and up from uh, Icon Park. It's definitely sure walking distance, isn't it? Yeah. It's okay, just for a little Disney fix. Not massive, but it's got, you know, bits and bats of Disney merch in, so. It's super small. Yeah, but um, it's all right for if you're staying down this end. Um, so we're now heading to Hollywood Studios. feels so much nicer. Might need a hoodie later. Today's magic band of choice. I've gone for Steamboat Willie with uh, Walt Disney there. Because of Mickey's Runaway? I thought it just matched my outfit. Well, Ooh. it's not really Mickey though, is it? It's closest like, to it. Also, while we're on the subject of what, I'm, what I've got on. One bite, two bite, three bite, four bites. You must be tasty. Got bites all over me. Talking to tasty, I'm a bit hungry. So we're going to go to have a look at it until he sees the price of course. Free of charge, it seems. No price, unless it's on. Oh wait a minute, they usually have them on the the edge, don't they? No, there's no price on that. Uh, wait a minute, one, wait a minute. Um, Thirty-four ninety-nine minus annual pass discount. Then you'd have to try it on though. Yeah, it feels heavy. It feels right thick. Oh, the price is that good or bad? Well, in days like this, I mean, that looks massive, doesn't it? It does look massive for a medium. That's a medium. What was there a small? No, that's going to bury me. Oh, there's no small. That is going to bury me for a medium. I need to find a small. There's no small unless you ask. Extra small? Even that looks big. Yeah? Even the extra small looks big. Not round neck, it doesn't, though. You have to ask for a small. A little bit big. I love the t-shirt, the... but it is a little big. Do my fair, just I'll see if I can find someone awesome. with a small, yeah. It's just uh, seeing if they've got a small in that. Uh, is waiting to hear. I like that. LGBT uh, rainbow stitch, 34.99. I do have the Mickey one in the lodge. Right, the only place on property is apparently World of Disney at Disney Springs. And she said they've got a few small there, so when we're over there, we'll, we'll try. But well, you'll like that. It's always the t-shirts that I like that they've never got the sizes. I have found another red one that you might like. I think it might suit you, that one. No, thank you. Right, 
we're just gonna have an ice cream while we're uh, mooching around. Do you want cup or cone? I'll have a cup of fat-free, no sugar added vanilla. Right, okay. Because I'm a health person. What the heck? No oh. idea. Mine's mushy and like foamy, like it's been whipped. And that looks like a blancmange. Well, it's because it's, it's the fat-free stuff. Oh, you're not in that one. Let me try it. See I what it tastes like. <laughs> I don't want to put mine on the wall because it's too warm. It's pretty solid. No, it's not bad actually. It's actually not bad, it's quite creamy. Can't guess. No, it's not bad. Nickel said it were horrible, but I actually quite enjoyed that fat free, sugar free ice cream. So if you're wanting to sort of like try and eat healthy, you can do and still have some ice cream. Sugar free makes me fat. I can't have it. But my ice cream would have been nice had it been frozen instead of mushy. It was a little bit mushy, Nix. I guess that's why they put it in a cup as well. Yeah. I did have a little taste of Nix and it was nice, but the, the sugar free one ice tasted cream similar. That's a nice little show if you fancy a snooze. We, Nick fell asleep once in there. Best snack, best, I would say best snack in Disney, best nap in Disney. Right, we're gonna go watch the Mickey and Minnie's little 10 minute animation, which is here, just before you get it uh, around to Batu. Um, we've never seen it before. It opened when Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Rail Train uh, opened. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was quite violent, actually, but a lot of like slapstick. It reminded me of The Simpsons. It would have been Tom and Jerry, wouldn't it? Yeah, kind of Very like, like kind of Simpsons and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, we've, we've never been in here, have we? I don't think we have. Actually. Not for food. I think we may have gone in in January 19 when the girls were having food, but we didn't order. Yeah, it's massive. Let's go and have a move. It's amazing. No matter how many times you come to Disney, you can always find something you've not done before. Oh, I'm actually hungry now. There's somebody got some chips there. They look delicious. Right, there's quite a queue, so we're going to try and. Uh, chicken strips. Right, hopefully we can pick them up in 10 minutes. Wish we'd have got french fries. <laughs> I know, but we've got to be quite good because we're going for a meal tonight. So we've got um, four chicken strips, two each obviously. We've got ranch, buttermilk ranch, ketchup and barbecue. That's but I don't good. know which is which, you'll just have to... What? All right, okay. That looks like it. ketchup. See what they look like inside. Ooh, nice and white. Mm. Mmm, they are good, I must say. That's the barbecue one. Yeah. That was about, what, how much was that? $11. $11, but you can get it with french fries or carrot sticks. You can just ranch. The ranch will be better, I would imagine. Mmm, that's nice too. I prefer yeah, it with yeah, these sauce, so, yeah. Well, as always, I enjoyed those Disney chicken strips. Nick wasn't a fan of the apples, he wouldn't have preferred fries. But to be fair, I wasn't a fan of the chicken either. Well, I thought it was really good. They were more battered than chicken. So this is a new place we've eaten, the Bat Lot Express. I'm sure many of you guys have been here, um, so it was nice. The wait times are quite high today. Obviously, we're still in that last week of spring break, so we've got to do some rides, so we're going to go and queue for uh, Smuggler's Run. Single ride here, yeah? Well, yeah, we could doesn't look all that bad unless it's closed as well. I'm just checking that out now. There's no queue whatsoever. 205 minutes. I think we'll give that one a miss today. That's weird though, because I can't see the queue. The queue's usually going all the way around here. Yep, yeah, definitely 205 minutes. Right, so the 205 minutes didn't seem right, so I went and asked one of the cast members and she said it's accurate. She says there are a few people queuing in the standby queue inside, but the reason why the queue times are so high for standby is because there's a lot of lightning lanes being booked. So, and the lightning lanes, to be fair, are queuing outside, so... Imagine how much money they've made today on lightning No, bloody fortune.
quick update. I just went to Blue, but as I was passing, there was the, the Mandalorian with Baby Yoda. I didn't have the camera on me. So he came to find me, we went back and he'd gone. He'd so gone. somewhere around Batu, it's baby, it's baby Yoda in the, the pouch in the pouch of a Mandalorian. Um, so we're on our way now to Smuggler's Run. So for anybody that's not done that before, um, you can go on single rider, but you'll never get the any other robot engineer, which to be fair is not very interactive. It's just pressing buttons. Yeah, you don't. And a lot of people think that when you do ride um, Millennium Falcon, that you just sit there and you're not actually interacting, which is not the case. You can actually fly the ship, but you've got to queue in the normal queue or a lightning wave, whichever, to be able to go and do pilot. Um, but if ever you do single rider, you're never ever going to get to do anything but engineer. So we've got to decide if we're going to do. I want to do pilot. So yeah, so do I. For it. All right, come on. Chewbacca and that person, I don't know who it's supposed to be. Chewbacca's mate. Ray there. Possibly, yeah. I'm just going to have a look, see if I can get some of the stuff on the menu. 
Um, we're not eating it today. No, we're, we're, sick, we're having a non-food day, even though all we've done since we got in is eat. <laughs> I've got to say, because we're going out with um, the Bazaars tonight to an Indian restaurant, a new one. So lunchtime, it's £45 per adult plus tax and tip. Evening, it's 45 plus adult tax and tip. And 25, 25 for children plus tax and tip. Oh, so it's a set price? Yeah, and it's um, you get like the bread service, um, cheddar biscuits with sweet pepper jelly, um, root and tooting tomato salads, kale salads, watermelon salads. There's a whole list, like um, old potato salad. And there must be loads of um, seeds of barbecue. There must be loads of meat as well. Yeah, but you can choose four sides and then just have a look on the Mind Disney Experience app. The, the entire menu is on there, but like Lisa, we may possibly try it. Mm. Wish we could go in, but there's a guy guarding the door, so I think you can only go in if you've got reservations. We definitely want to try out some new Disney uh, restaurants while we're here this time. But this is relatively new. When we came in October, this wasn't here. this wasn't open at the time. Was, they were still building it. It's getting a bit warmer now, isn't it? it is. Ooh. Right, so even though we said we're, we're not uh, doing loads of food today. This is like three minutes. <laughs> It's the last update. We are. We, we did want to try the uh, Brown Derby Lounge. We've never tried it before. We were walking past it earlier saying, never tried that before. It's like uh, cocktails and wine and snacks. There's a 10 minute uh, wait. Is it 10 minute wait for the lounge and 10 minute wait for the restaurant. Yeah, I'm just about to join the walk up now. So, so we'll show you what we're getting there. There we go. We're on the list. 10 minutes. By the time we walk there, we'll be done. I wonder how much Donald charges to join the picnic. A lot of time. Jamie McDonald did it. wrong that's for the actual dining the restaurant the lounge is this way hello are we checking for the lounge yet yeah all well, the lounge you two are going to be right here for us today right we've got sat down so here's a little look at the menu at the brown derby lounge we're just going to go for some appetizers because we are eating um quite early tonight but um we just want a little snack and then we might go throw it all up on tower tower if we can be bothered queuing um, Rotted bone marrow or snails? Uh, no, neither of those, thank you. I was thinking maybe the charcuterie board. Yeah. Meat, cheeses and the compliments. Ooh, what about the charcuterie board and the tomato burrito salad? Um, I'd be happy just with the charcuterie board to be fair. And then there's also the drinks menu. Um, so we've got alcoholic specialty flights. Uh, martini flights, scotch and bourbon. The classics. Why don't you try a Bloody Mary, Nick? Oh no. So that Bloody will Mary make, that is... will make me puke and it'll look it'll look like, like a horror house then. Hanger one macrut lime vodka and Bloody Mary mix garnish uh, with celery and olives. No, thank you. Yeah. Um, I might just get a non-alcoholic Malibu beach which is Minute Maid Zero Sugar Lemonade Blue Raspberry served with a souvenir glow cube. I'm going to get a uh, Michelob Light. Souvenir um, ice cube, glowing ice cube. Sure I've had quite a few of them before. I never managed to get them all. In fact, I think we have got one in the drawer at Lodge. The green one mm -hmm. from Disneyland Paris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. What is it? It's juice. It just tastes very sweet, but it's not because it's zero sugar. Um, it's non alcoholic. Non alcoholic. Fall and bother. I, on the other hand, have gone for a blue moon. How original of you. Well, they didn't have Michelob Light, did they? Have a little taste, have, have a little taste. <laughs> it tastes like a Mr. Freeze that's been defrosted. Mm, I like it. You know, like an ice pop. Yeah. Right, so really we only came in for drinks. We thought we'd get we a decide, snack as yeah, well. We went for the charcuterie because we wanted something light because we're eating heavy tonight. I didn't so. hear, uh, I was just on the phone when it came, so what is it all? Obviously we got meat Salami, things. mustard, ham and ham, um, Spanish tortilla chips, she said. And then that one's got Earl Grey on it. That cheddar's got Earl Grey. Oh, this one? Yeah. I think that's the rind. I'm eating rind? I don't think you're supposed to eat that. But never mind, enjoy it. Huh? That Earl Grey cheese is very nice. What's this here? 
Um, duck, I think. Duck? Yeah. There. Mm. It's almost shaped like a duck. Oh my god. What? Donald's gone. Oh, it's Donald. Oh my god. That's where he's gone. Uh oh. Maybe you've got Daisy. Right, let's go and spew it all back up again. I was just going to say, I actually really enjoyed that shack of tree board. It was very small, but just the right size. Obviously, because we want to go on tower, there is a quite a long way. So 55 it'll, minutes. It'll, it'll let, let that go down, at least. I don't know what it is about Tower Terror, because I know I love it. You're terrified. <laughs> I always get really nervous as I'm going to queue for it. Why? I don't know. I, it's just that dropping feeling. It's not really a drop, though. It's, it's not here. No. It's worse in California. A lot I, better in California. I, I do love it when I'm on it. I'm just laughing my head off. But when it's just the thought of going to get on it, I'm like, Ugh. but uh, it's almost a like, right? Let's well, get it. You've got an hour to get used to it freely. Get it done and get it over with. Do, do, do. There it is, the Hollywood Tower Terror. It's only 45 minute wait now. It's gone down. You'll have less to uh, less chance to worry about it. Feet are in. A bit nervous. I don't know why. My feet are killing me. I just need to sit down. You nervous? Put it with a nap now. I am knackered. I want to sit down as well. I hope I don't keep that blue moon up. I hope you don't at all. There you go. Well, that's not a good start. Somebody wants to get off. <laughs> Do you want to get off? Yeah, I'm sure you When stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door and that door is opening once again. This time, it's opening for you. You are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension. Beyond the deepest, darkest corner of imagination. What in the In the Tower of Terror. <laughs> Rob's from the hotel. Have, have a guess, see if you can guess the price. Uh, 99. Not as bad as I thought, actually. 65. 74.99. So Ooh, 65 I like discount. that, though. You could have breakfast at the lodge with that on and that hat on in here, the mug. If you're nervous about that ride, don't let it put you off. I get nervous about it every time. I don't know it why. frigging brilliant. I absolutely loved it. I was just saying to Nick, we've both still been feeling a little bit down about everything that's happened with Nick's mum. We've just been talking about it while we're in the queue. We're like, both, do we really want to be here? We both said, have we come too soon and stuff like that. And we still feel a bit flat and maybe we didn't give ourselves enough time before we went on a trip and stuff like that. And there's a point to this um, story. And the, the point is, that's the first time I've laughed and screamed and just... I screamed on Mummy yesterday, only because it hurt my leg. And that's just giving me that really buzz feeling that. So, even if you're nervous about that ride, go on it because it is fantastic, absolutely loved Every it. single ride on the Tower of Terror is a different programme, so you don't know what you're going to get, it randomises it. And that, it was a really good one. It, it was, it was, there was a lot of like, bottom to top, bottom to top, yeah. bottom to top. 
and then it kept us in the sunshine. You don't usually do that, it usually takes you up and then drops you straight away, and it did it about three times, didn't yeah. it? The last one seemed to go right up and then it shook then about judded. and then went all the way back down. I absolutely loved it. We've just gone back to the car. I've got to show you this car. <laughs> it's like the Batmobile, a two-seater thing. Batman's part behind us. I don't even know what it is. It's like a. Has it just got one wheel at the back? Wheels. Yeah, three wheels. I couldn't have them all. Do that now. Well, yeah. Couldn't even tell you what that is. It's a go kart of some kind. Yeah. Three wheel tricycle with um, a body kit. Right, so before we go to our restaurant reservation tonight at 6.30, it is actually only quarter past four. Just across the road from our hotel is a five below and we've not been there this trip. How convenient. So we're going to go over the road from the hotel and check out what t-shirts they may have. Um, it has only been six months, so they might not have rotated their stock yeah, yet. Yeah, maybe. But I always seem to in find something, mile, so we'll find out. delay on the i4 of course so while we're talking about the i4 we were um, we were having a discussion the other day Barry has always said to us avoid the i4 like the plague but we did it the other day when we were going when we were going somewhere Magic Kingdom I think yeah I think so and it ended up taking us 20 minutes longer by the roadway so we kind of just we were kind of just chatting and we were saying it's always best to trust Google because it knows about all the routes and all the traffic in real time and it works out what the best route is for the least time and even this route now it's like a nine minute delay on the i4 always trust google and always put the traffic Continue service on, on because it always knows best miles. so basically what you're saying is don't listen to buzzer it's full of crap always listen to google yep so as we were driving along there lee just said i wonder how international drive came about so being bored being the uh, the passenger i looked it up so apparently the first parts of International Drive were laid in, laid in the 1960s and then the first hotel opened in May 1970 which was the Hilton in South and the guy that opened it knew that once Walt Disney World opened in um, 1971 that people who were coming to visit the parks uh, or the park at the time in along the inter Interstate 4 would see the hotel which runs parallel with International Drive and therefore want to stay there because it would be cheaper than staying at Disney so that was how the International Drive formed. So it actually formed 10, 10 to 11 years it was all because of Disney. before Disney even opened. Yeah. I'd love to see, I'm sure you can, I'm sure there might be videos on the, obviously lots of photos, what it looked like around here before Disney. It's Marshland. Yeah. I've seen it on the uh, Disney Plus documentaries. It was literally just Marshland. In fact, Magic Kingdom is actually built where the water table um, is so bad that the Walt, the Magic Kingdom is actually built on the on the on the first on the second floor of a oh, yeah. of a building. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The tunnels is the ground floor, or as people in America call it, the first floor. And then Walt Disney World, the the Magic Kingdom is actually the second floor, which we would call the first floor. Brits always do things awkward, don't they? We're almost at five and below, and a helicopter's literally just flown down the road and just landed there. Or actually landed on the roof. One of the two helicopters. We were on the I-4 earlier and it literally flew across the lane and almost landed on the lane. Quite scary when you see it when that yeah. close up when it's moving, isn't it? So we are literally just off International Drive. There's a little retail park on the left and five below is in there. Just near Fun Spot. You just don't realise how big this Fun Spot America is. It's absolutely huge. It's all there and it goes back about two or three blocks. You have arrived, as Google <laughs> says. Right, we're just going to park up and then we're going to go in and see whether we can get any uh, cheap holiday t-shirts. I'm not interested in t-shirts this time, yeah. I don't need any. I'm just going to have a we'll little... see. I'm going to have a much round of other stuff. All right. It's the first time ever at this five and below, isn't it? Yes. Five uh, below, should I say, not five and below. When I was saying earlier, I've got bites, by the way. I think it's mozzie bites. So I've got like one on my hand, one Once there. Sharing that with itching. everybody. Well, I did... Hot spoon, get the hot spoon on it. just wanted to say, I don't usually get bitten in Florida by mosquitoes. Whether it was before we got here or not, when we won the Blue Ridge Parkway, got some on my legs, Nick's got some on his legs now, so I don't know where they've come from. Well, there's a trick you can do, and there's no scientific proof, but it does work, is you get a, you get a spoon, put it in a, a, like a metal spoon, put it in a cup of hot water, so as hot as you can bear it, and then put it on the bite, and it stops the itch. And it does work, doesn't it? Yeah. Apart from Lee once did it, and actually burnt the, burnt the bite and ended up with a blister. So I've never done it again. Anything taking your interest so far? Not yet. That's a nice colour, we'll what's on that? Oh no, I don't like that. Yeah, I quite like that, not today, sorry. 
<laughs> uh, I've got maybe. that one. I didn't bring it with me this time, but I've got that one. Oh, look at that I one as well. One, the people in one. I left my house for this. <laughs> that, that's a possibility. I don't need a notebook, but I love these. Look, we've got like uh, squishy things on the front. Oops. Right. Pick that up in a minute. Hang on, right. Two seconds. Look at this. A frog on the front of that one and a panda on the front of that one. Squishy. But I don't need any more notebooks. You like that one? I do. It's weird because there's three different brands of t-shirt with the same text on it and two of them don't fit and this one does. I always look for the fruit of the loom one because they seem better quality. Right, I'm having that. So this is what I mean. So this is, these two t-shirts, although they're different colours, they're exactly the same print. This one is a, a Gildan, when I can find it. Gildan there. And this one, which is what I'm getting, is a fruit of the loom. But they're exactly the same t-shirt. So you've got to be careful if you're trying them on. If one doesn't fit, try and find another brand. What you found? I found where Bazza gets all his jokes from. Maybe we should get that and take it in tonight. <laughs> Collection of cringy crackles. I mean, why are snails bad at racing? They can be sluggish. Why don't crabs give to charity? They're a real selfish breed. <laughs> right, we're getting it then, yeah? We're seeing Bazza tonight, so we're getting it. It'll have, it'll have more to his rap. Oh, repertoire. yeah. We'll be doing a vlog on it. <laughs> so they've got a new section called Five Beyond. <laughs> Things that are above $5, but still cheap. So like key, <laughs> keyboard. Whoever thought of five below really didn't think about it long term, did they? They should do a new star just called five, five beyond. beyond. Look at that little sunlight lamp. Oh. I want this. Making park I, I, glow. I want this, yeah. It's like just some little tape with that little reflectors on and then when, when light shines on it, it it glows. Blue, I quite prefer that one. That looks more sort of tronny. No, that's tron. Blue well, yeah, one. I suppose, yeah. I love all the stuff you can get here. A lot of it's kind of like junk, but I, I just like it. Treating ourselves to a stick of Laffy Taffy. Oh my Why God. Why not? Oh, they look nice too. What? I don't think you can get it. I can't show anymore. a couple of stuff that I have got uh, the kids. Oh, uh, the popping candy. Yeah, you can get popping candy back at home. I don't think so. Not anymore. Of course you can, but I will get some. Get Turns into candy. gum. Popping candy. Yeah, a couple of those. God, I'm gorgeous. You That's get it. Song. You get it. Because I, you're gorgeous, I'd do anything for you. Bye. So Lee made a purchase in five hundred below. You got a lady weight. No lady weight, it's quite heavy this one. For big ladies. <clears throat> Not sure I'll be able to get it back in me uh, hand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even think you're going to put it in mine. Just use it on a morning. Is there an explanation why you're taking it out for a meal with us? <laughs> Not bad, I might want to go. Have you brought his book? Yeah. No, I'm just leaving it in the car so I don't have to bring it down tomorrow on with luggage. Yes, we're having to move hotels tomorrow. Uh, we could only get the Hilton for four days on the rate that we were on, so we're having to move to um, Celebration Suites, which is actually next to the Old Town Kissimmee. Kissimmee. Yeah. So well, there we go. Right, so we're on our way to Bombay Street Kitchen, which is on the Orange Blossom Trail. I saw this place on uh, the Visit Orlando Instagram feed a couple of months ago, and I clicked through it and found out where they were. The food looks delicious. It looks very similar to Destination Back at Home, where they put like the swirly yogurts on some of the curries, and some of the starters just look so, they spend a lot of time on prettying the food up, so we'll give it a good go as to see how it tastes. It's 3.6 miles from here. We're meeting the Bazas there. Um, They've not mentioned it today. I hope they've not forgot. Well, they should be on the way. In fact, they should be there, almost there. So, um, in fact, I'm just gonna pause this and I'm gonna text him. Right, I've texted him. Um, he hasn't replied yet. We're on his way. We're going to be there in 15 minutes. I'm absolutely starving because we've hardly, had, we've hardly had anything to eat we've today. We've had snacks today. Haven't we? We've had an ice cream and we've had uh, a charcuterie board. That was it. Miles. Anything else? Just done a yui. We had breakfast this morning in the hotel. Well, we had that ice cream. We screwed up actually because we thought that the breakfast rate was included in the hotel cost and it wasn't. And then when we finished eating, she came and slapped a bill on this table. It cost us forty dollars. So we won't be having breakfast there tomorrow. <laughs> We'll be having the yogurt that we got from the last hotel, which is still in the fridge. And we're very good to, because I only had a bowl of uh, He had a bowl meal. of oatmeal. He actually went back and got another bowl of I stuff like, I'm out of some principle. Eggs if we're paying for it. Strangest looking traffic lights I've ever seen. It's one big massive metal platform with the lights on. Look there. There's what? a move by any car dot com. Oh uh, yeah. I didn't think that were America, like in America. Uh, we are one minute away. The buzzers are already there. Uh, I think uh, Barry says he's protecting his wheel because it's a sketchy area. Right, we're here. The Bazas are here as well. They've made it before us. We were probably sat in our hotel car park when I texted him and said, we're on his way. And then he replied back and said, you were already here. So the starters have arrived already. Uh, 
So we're in this, what's it called again? Bombay Street Kitchen. Yeah. It's on Orange Blossom Trail. It looks really swanky. Mm. And it looks uh, on the inside, the outside doesn't do the inside. Yeah. The outside looks swanky as well compared to the area. Oh, yeah. So our stars have arrived already. The buses have got onion barge and Nick's ordered this. I have no idea what it is. I want to try them. Is it shell? It's, what is it? It looks like. What have you ordered? I'm not sure. It does look nice on the menu. It's cold as well. Let me try it. <laughs> it's got like soup inside it. It's soup. Odd. And it's cold. But it's nice. I don't want it's that. It's just shocking. I'm glad I ordered chicken <laughs> dumplings. Yeah. It just shocks you when you put it in your mouth. It's, it's the sensation. I think that's like um, whatever it is inside. No, no, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Shove it all in. Mm. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> I couldn't shove it all in, I wasn't prepared. Of course you can shove it all in, you've done it before. Quite a nice taste though. Do you want to try one, Bazza? It feels weird. Go on then. We've got eight. Go on. It's one of those things that you've got to shove put it all in at once and bite it. You can't do what you need. Oh, it's broken. It's broken. Oh. It's just an egg that's bust. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like those. No, I don't. It's weird, isn't it? It's very strange. Would I like that? It's like, it's like, it's like a mini yogurt sauce yeah. in a balloon of yeah. bread. Yeah. With a, bit, with a bit of, um, it's, not, it's not, it's not, it's, it's sweet, it's really nice, it's sweet, but it's just unusual. Max is going through. Oh my gosh, they're heavy, aren't they? Yeah. It's going to dribble everywhere. Straight in, Max. Straight in. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she managed to do it. So inside it's like yogurt, it's like a mint, and then like um, oh, it's like the it's like the pickle trays. Oh, it's yeah, like yeah. the stuff injected into like a bread ball. Yeah, it's not bad. I quite like them. It's just a bit of a shock when you're not when you don't know what to expect. Right, Baza. We got you a little present today. When we, went, we, went, we, went, we went to a shop and we saw some nice right, Oh, what just, is it? We got it out on the um, <laughs> video. <back. laughs> video. It'll, it'll complete, a, cam a cameraman. It'll completely change your vlogs. But it'll give you no content anyway. Ah! Fucking things up. Ah! Look at that! Just keep... reminded you of us. That's going to keep you going for the next 50 minutes. There we go. Right, this night is going to go very well now. Ah, uh, right. cut. <laughs> do you hate it when someone answers the wrong question? I do. It's like Baza wrote the book. It is. <laughs> Who wrote it? <laughs> Think Park Baza. Uh, Think Park <laughs> Foods arrived. Right, try the tikka masala and tell me how it compares to like a proper English. Like, yeah, like a, an, it's not an English Indian. Oh, I mean. oh, it's nice, it's really nice. Very um, like fragrant, not fragrant, but um, creamy. No, very um, vibrant. Yeah, like taste, very tasteful. Nice. So, like, so is it like the best Indian that you've had in Florida? Um, come back to me after we've eaten it. Right, right, I'll tell back you. in a minute when we've done some research. I asked my son what's two minus two. He said nothing. He's currently searching the index for ice cream. So we've gone for a dessert. Just going to share it. Some Kulfi ice cream. Which is like just an, an uh, Indian ice cream. Oh, Baz has got a gel ready. I can just see him ready in the corner what? of the eye. To the person who stole my bed, I won't rest until I find you. Right, verdict. Um, it was nice. Yeah, probably the nicest Indian I've had so far in Florida. That was... Oh, I thought the music was starting. That was as just as nice as the one that we go to at home, I think. I wouldn't say that because it's very nice, the one that we Those to home. starters were very weird. They, uh, the only thing I can describe them as is they were like mini poppadoms, like little balloons filled with the yogurt sauce, filled with the green sauce, and then you bit them and then they popped in your mouth. Yeah, they were weird. And absolutely. then you just got yogurt sauce trickle yeah. over your tongue. It was basically like, did you just say? It was, it was like, like a poppadom pop balloon. Poppadoms and pre done pickles. with all the chutney. Poppadoms and pickles all done, yeah. Yeah, they were very nice, but there was just an unusual sensation, but they tasted really, really, really nice. Yeah, and that I would definitely go there again. Chicken tikka masala, oh, it was so buttery and yeah. so creamy. And um, it came with rice. We had um, rotis with it as well, because they don't do. Um, what do we usually have? Um, Japatis. They didn't have Japatis. I'm just looking because the bazaar's so, about to set off. Yeah, they're about to set off. 
quick matter of change there. Um, so tomorrow we are moving hotels again. We're going to the one down in, uh, near Celebration. Uh, Celebration, well, down, Me. what's it called? Celebration Suite. Sweet. So we'll show you guys that. And we're going to be there on a Saturday night, which is the same night that they have the classic car show that they have every Saturday night. So it's going to be quite rowdy, no, I would we're imagine. We're going to be there Saturday night. We'll leave on Saturday morning. What day is it today? Thursday. Uh, it's Thursday. What day is it today? Wednesday. It's Thursday tomorrow. So we're there Friday... Thursday night and Friday night. Oh, right, so we'll miss it. And then we leave on Saturday to Phew. go to our friends in Sarasota. And then we're there for a week, and then we're back in Orlando, and we're here for a couple of weeks, or a week before the the old folks turn my parents, up. My parents come. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed everything that we've done today. Let us know in the comments below. And... Um, Lots of food. Yeah, again. again. And uh, we've still got to go to Epcot and try all the flower and garden. There's no rush. We can do it all with no rush. We've yep. got plenty of time to do all that. And I'm off to go and itch my bike. Hot spoon. Oof. Hot spoon. God, they're itching off. So, um, we'll see you on the next video. We'll see you on the next video. Hit the like button. Click the notification bell. Drop his comment below.